Hey friends, welcome to my channel, Just a Regular Dad. Today I'm going to be talking about our toddler's diaper bag um, and what we put in it on a day-to-day -day basis. So the bag itself is a Fjall Raven Kankin. Uh, it's kind of this navy blue color. Uh, we've used it for about a year and a half now, so it has some wear and tear to it. Probably could use a new one, um, but it's been good for us. And so it's, it's more than enough of what we need, um, and it's just the standard size. You know, it's not big or, or small or anything like that. Um, but it's, uh, it's been very useful. We have this little carabiner on it, and uh, that's what we attach this water bottle to. You know, when we go out to, to eat or travel or whatever. I'm not gonna leave that on there right now just because it's kind of heavy. But uh, the water bottle is a must have all the time. So I'll start with the basics. Um, obviously we have diapers, we have uh, our wipes, and we have his uh, diaper rash cream. So whenever he gets a diaper rash, we use this stuff. Um, this brand is called Little Journey, and it's just a standard diaper rash cream. We keep our diapers and stuff in a separate bag within our uh, carry bag. Um, so like if we're out at a restaurant, we're at the grocery store, um, and we just need to, to do a diaper change. We don't have to take this whole bag. Uh, we can just carry the, uh, the smaller bag. But it fits right into the bottom of the, uh, of the uh, backpack pretty nicely. Next we have uh, some Clorox sanitation wipes. Um, for if we go anywhere, tables are kind of nasty, or we just need something cleaned up real quickly, we can just wipe it off and sanitize it. Uh, we also take a little bottle of hand sanitizer uh, just in case we're out somewhere and want to eat a snack or need to clean up a little bit, we use that. For diaper changes, um, when we're out at a friend's house or you know, somewhere in public that doesn't have a good trash can, we use these little uh, diaper bags, they're kind of like little poo bags, so we'll change the diaper, put it in one of these bags, then we'll throw it away. It kind of contains all the smell. Also take just a few band-aids and some uh, alcohol wipes. In case he falls, scrapes his knees, scrapes his hands, or something like that. Um, just an easy cleanup. And this stuff will typically go in the, in the front pocket here. So we also always have a change of clothes. Um, he is a messy one. Uh, he likes mud puddles and dirt. And he's a messy eater. Um, so you know, if he ever gets too, too dirty or too messy, we'll change his shirt. And then we'll have uh, you know, a pair of shorts or a pair of pants. It's been a little bit warmer. Um, here lately so we have warmer stuff. Uh, we always keep his Crocs in his bag as well. Uh, like I said, if he hits a mud puddle or uh, he spills something on himself, like we can just take his shoes off, put the Crocs on, he wears them, he likes them. It's super easy. We'll also always pack him like a handful of toys. Um, so the flavor of this week is he's got his PJ masks here. and uh, a couple of cars, Spider-Man and Gobby. He's really into Spidey and the Friends and he's into PJ Masks right now. Um, so when we're out somewhere or in a car ride and he's kind of getting feisty, like we'll give him some toys. And typically he's, uh, he's content with that. I also have a book. Um, this book is a Spider-Man book. So again, when we're out somewhere um, and he needs to just kind of be interacted with, we can give him a book, we'll read him a book or We'll give it to him in his car seat. Um, it's just kind of a thing to, to calm him down and something to look at. Since it is getting warmer, uh, we'll also start packing some sunscreen. Um, not just for him, but for my wife and, and myself as well. Um, but always keep that in the bag too, because we go to the park, we go to the aquarium, or we're out and about, spray some on, um, rub it in, and uh, make sure we're good from the sun. We'll always have snacks for him too. Uh, we have some Uncrustables this week, uh, but if it's not an Uncrustable, it's like uh, some fruit snacks or apples or bananas. Um, he really likes fruit um, and he loves the Uncrustables. Now we do have a secret weapon that we uh, typically don't like to use, um, but if we need it, it has never failed us. And that is what we call Tata. Um, this is his Amazon tablet. It's, uh, it is everything he could ever want. 
he can watch his shows, he can play his games, and um, if he's ever in a bad mood or we're ever trying to eat dinner, we're at a friend's house and he, he won't cooperate, um, Tata always, always gets him in line and always has him calm down. Tata has never failed up to this point. Um, and fingers crossed that we can always kind of keep that in our arsenal as a secret weapon. So as you can see here, everything fits in our bag, um, you know, with, with room to spare. We, uh, you know, we haven't needed a bigger bag. When we go to theme parks and stuff, we do take a bigger bag because we also like to take some of our own items, but typically when it's just his stuff, like this bag is, is more than enough. So thanks for watching. If you have any other tips of uh, what we might need in our bag or what helps you guys out, please let me know in the comments. Um, you know, we're always looking for, for new tips and tricks to, uh, to use with our toddler. So if you, uh, if you have any advice for me, please leave it. Thanks.